to your briefcase in a different location Absolutely. that sets up a, someone new. Or exactly. Or, I, mean, I was just trying to give a nugget of potentially why he could have done it, but or kill yourself and make, make it look it or make, make it look like obviously suspicious. Yeah. Right. right? Like just, make it look obviously suspicious. Have your documents there, so like, holy fuck, this guy was onto something, and he was obviously fucking murdered. I, there's too. What I'm saying is, there's too many humps to get over to for me to be like, yeah, he obviously killed himself. There's too many humps that just don't add yeah, up. I agree. The fact that we've never found any of his documents, any of his research that he'd been recent, like, and by all means, he was one of those people that just becomes like tunnel vision, just part of his work. I'm locking infatuated myself infatuated with this story. Yeah. That's and all he thought about. What if not he got, a note. What if somebody took it? Like, what if he got silenced and then he was like, "I've got nothing now." Maybe well, and someone right? stole it. Someone somebody stole came up to him, took all his shit, and was like, "You're came up, done. came up at gunpoint." It's like, "Hey, I need the briefcase. I know what you've been yeah. into. He took it, and then he did kill but himself." But you would still, you but, would still like, yeah. you would still have a mental like. Or, you know what I mean? I think if you lost everything, you still piece it, piece a lot of it let's together. Go, back. Let's go back. Let's go back to the fucking suicide note. At the I was end, just because say appara- that. apparently he's a devout Catholic, and he took his own life. And it says he says, "I know God will let me in." Maybe he was forced to commit suicide. He had a 22 year old son who lived in Colorado. Maybe if they're like, "Listen, Danny, here's this all. We have all this information on your son. We're coming to fucking kill your kid." You got unless you do this now. You got to do it. And because that yeah. was maybe and that was a coded way of saying that that because it obviously cause he, did, he was forced suicide, to kill you cannot be you were not gained access suicide and is he hits an artery to hell he hits an artery yeah. the guy takes a little bit of fucking spray grabs some towels wipes the blood off tosses them underneath the sink in this otherwise perfectly fucking clean scene and fucks off grabs the briefcase off he goes yeah. right right and that's why he says like I know I'll gain it. Well, God will let me, let me in, in or because he was forced to commit suicide. Because he was, he's like, this isn't a real suicide. I'm being, uh, this is a murder, mm-hmm. which because would make it's, sense. It's he's also the same it. thing because this is another thing for uh, the Catholic religion. Uh, Self sacrifice is an instant guarantee to heaven. So uh, if his son was threatened to die and he had to kill himself to save him, it's just like uh, in the Marvel, in the, in the Marvel movie Constantine, when he kills himself to save the yeah. other. And then God, and then the devil can't take him. Uh, Constantine's DC, or whatever. Well, Come you know, on, man. You, you, be you know, you know, my, you know, my, you know, I don't give a shit about comics. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, he tried. Hey, yeah. Jay, yeah. Give, give, give a hey, good, good soul try. That he knew about yeah. it is impressive. Yeah. I like the movie. Now, uh, I like the now movie. Now the the other fascinating fact is that Danny is like wallet, personal effects found in the room. You know, notes about the case. None of that has ever been released to the family at even at the request right like none of his personal stuff has ever been released to the family like anything recovered yeah which is to me i'm like what why not just release that stuff why aren't you released like release his wallet why what do you need the wallet for yeah and there was there was also stuff that i couldn't really substantiate about some fbi agents being told to not look any farther and or else their careers would be ruined like they 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 did not you know as goes the message boards and internet lore looking some some of them questioned the suicide of them and they're like oh let's look into this and then they were told don't look any farther that's it it's suicide cut and dry fuck off well apparently like one of the other things is that like the is it the doj that says that 90 percent of his files missing now Something like At that. At this point, yeah. what? Come on. Yeah, Department of right. Justice says that a lot of his file is, is gone. Is missing. Right, not redacted. Boys. Gone. It's fucking. Missing. This is so shady. Octopus is a real baby. hundred percent. They infiltrate guys, all levels of government and society. Than an octopus, they got their tentacles everywhere. So I think Danny was. I mean, it's hard to make a full conclusion, but. It seems like there's much more than just the guy was down on his luck. His story wasn't going where he wanted to. He had a mortgage payment and he took, took his own life. There seems there's just too much. There's too much to it. Dan, what do you think? I... Huh? Well, okay. hey, well, okay. it's okay. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think personally, it's like this story coming out then, before all this stuff, what we know now, the implications. Even now, like even now, someone was murdered. Right on American soil, 
that was trying to break a case about American people. You know what I mean? Like it, it, the political implica- Im- <laughs> implications. Um, right? Judiciary. It, huge scandal. Judiciary. Right? Judiciary. Yeah. Right? High, high level people, you know, uh, spying on foreign countries. Like, this is big. This is this is just the software fucking, alone is huge. It's a big fucking scam. It's huge, right? And then you tie it into all this other stuff. And if 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 honestly, if even ten percent, like we said earlier, if even if at the time ten percent of this was true, which we can substantiate quite a bit of it was true, whether it, it was connected or not, we don't know. Um, he was in trouble. Like he was, by all accounts, he was running his mouth. Right? He was he was telling anyone telling everyone to meet in contacts like obviously to get into this world and get the information he was getting he was having to make shady contacts and who's to say that one of these people wasn't connected enough to be like someone's asking questions people were calling his house and making threats yeah breathing on the phone like if if it's just suicide who's calling his phone and doing that nah there's more to it uh i mean obviously the case is still ruled a suicide and it probably will never be overturned, but the events of the case lead to mass speculation and podcasts, documentaries, investigations about it. Internet There's sleuths. Less. Sleuths yeah. are always slinking around, poking right. their sleuths. noses in. All right, sleuths, let us know what you think. Right? What do you think? Dirty sleuths. Hashtag look it up, listen to this case file. Is this a suicide or is there something more nefarious at work? You, you can find us on all our socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, when you start seeing the posts, you know, start letting us know your thoughts. We want to hear them. All right. Let's move on to Theorite of the Week. Woo! This week's Theorite of the Week is none other than Joseph Not Beauty. He sent us individual gifts. Joseph which I haven't Claus. opened yet. I have Andrews at my house. I've sent Braden his. Uh, Braden, also sent you your, uh, your ATT neon sign. Nice. Should be should be soon. So we'll open them all together. But he sent us personalized gifts. Oh, he's been. So the, you're saying is he's not on the naughty list. Personalized anthrax for all of us. <laughs> hey, you get your perfect blend to your genetic code kills you instant instantly. death. Instant yeah. death. Uh, but he's also been an absolute legend on the Facebook group Meme King Junior. Oh, yeah. I would call him. He's been fucking working hard this year. Prince of memes. Prince of memes. Hell yeah. Joseph, not you were this week's theory of the week. Well deserved, I believe. That's a two time, at least, Ooh. if not three. Oh, if, at least, oh, if no. not three time, if not three. Uh oh, absolute Uh-oh. legend. Puts him in the he's running. Not. He's putting in the he's running for. Uh, yeah. He's in the king running Slayer. for the top he tier. Might, he might be the king slayer. We'll see. We'll see them. Yeah, you got to keep it going. Shit. The year's not over. Shit. The year's not over. All right, and we tell you every fucking case file. If you're not supporting the show, you got to go to AlienTheorist.com. you got to hit the support link to get early access, ad-free, extended after hours, all the bonus stuff. What are you waiting for? You listen to all these episodes. What are we on, like 200 and, well, it's 259 case files, but I think we're well over 300 episodes. If you, oh, <laughs> if you count all, all the shit in there. Anyways, this week's newest supporters, we got Brick. Josh, just, just, just brick. brick, just brick, yeah. brick. Oh, damn no. brick. Josh wages, Ruzia pieces, and NZ skunky butts. <laughs> Cody from Manitoba. <laughs> wait, 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 what? NZ skunky butts. Cody, from, Cody from Manitoba's back. Nice. Wyatt Halliday, Mason Eubanks, Brady Morris, and. Gladio better be good. I think someone joined just for Operation oh. Gladio. Yeah, I saw that guy's post <laughs> yeah. on Facebook. That's funny. Yeah, the three part. It's a three part. It's, it's, three good. it's worth it. Me and Dan do a deep dive. Deep three dive. hours is Operation Gladio, and it's worth every minute of it. Tip the spear and balls deep or something? Uh, it's the tip. Yeah, shaft. yeah, that is. The tip, the shaft, and balls deep or something. Yeah. Thank you very much for supporting the show. Hey, listen, you don't have any merch yet. It's Christmas time. Now is the time. Listen, don't wait any longer. Go to our store, AlienTheorist.com, hit merch, buy yourself a sweatsuit. 
Buy your loved one a sexy. Buy some hats. Buy some sweaters. Everyone gets a sweater. You want a pickle baby? We got pickle baby. We got pickle baby shirt, pickle baby sweater. It's all ready. You say it, baby. I, hey, I made a great, I made a great T-shirt hat. All right, it's not my fault you didn't utilize it properly. What? What was I your made a good T-shirt hat? You don't remember? I don't, I don't, no, I don't. Starring Axel and Nile. It's pretty good. Oh, that is good. Yeah. yeah. So head to our store, get it. Anyways, the theme song's running out. As we say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the skies. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.